A few years back, we uh, decided that we needed to implement a new ERP system. We ended up selecting one that we felt would like would be a good fit for our business. And then we went about the process of implementing this ERP system, which was not M1. Roughly nine months into that uh, implementation process, uh, we finally came to the conclusion that this product really wasn't going to do the job for us as well as we had hoped. It was the best decision for our business long term to go ahead and pull the plug and start over the search with a new company. I took over leading that process of selecting an ERP system. I put together a short list of questions that I felt like were the most challenging ones for an ERP system to meet. That way I could cut down the list quickly to those that, that I could spend more time investigating. Through that process, uh, we narrowed it down to two and then finally made our decision on M1. And from the time we made our final decision to where we finally got under contract and got the implementation started, took a little time just because, again, we were very careful and really wanted to make sure that we were gonna get what we were hoping to get out of a new ERP system. They actually took the time to come in and spend some time learning how do we do business today? How do we utilize the tools that we have today to get our job done? And then from that, they're able to determine how to best implement M1 to suit our needs. They go through a, uh, a build process where they're basically building out any specific reports you need, um, unique grids you need to develop how we are gonna use the system. And we first do that with a small audience, uh, that being me and maybe a couple of other team members that we brought in that are subject area experts in, within our company. Once we had all those details worked out, they go into um, kind of a, a what they call the deliver phase. We're rolling that out to a much larger audience within the company and training more people on how to do the system. Our, our go live process was, was very smooth and the uh, the guys prepared us pretty well. Uh, we took our time with it. We were very judicious um, and we were a difficult customer. We told M1 that up front, that we were gonna be a difficult customer. We had a lot of demanding people here in the building that wanted to make sure everything worked just right for them. And so they were patient with us uh, and helped us work through the implementation process so that when we did go live, that we were comfortable that it was the right time to go live. And they prepared us pretty well.